Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the HP Touchpad. This is their new tablet. In this episode, we're going to talk about setting up email accounts on your HP Touchpad. And one of the things that a lot of people like to do on their tablets is set up their email and use it as an all-in-one console for their accounts. It's a lot easier than doing it on your smartphone, for example, and it's a lot more convenient than having to be tethered to your computer. There is a way to do that on the touchpad. So you swipe up from the bottom bezel to reveal the dock, tap the upward pointing arrow, and then slide over until you get to your settings. Tap on accounts to get into your accounts. Hit add an account, and then you can add an email account here. Now a lot of these email accounts use pretty standard settings. So you can just tap in your email address and your password here, and chances are the HP Touchpad will be able to configure it automatically without you having to enter anything in. If you have more offbeat settings, for example, the login that you use for your email isn't exactly the same as your email account username, then you'll have to go into manual mode and enter it in manually from here. You can also use manual mode to set up your encryption settings or change your server settings if your account uses different servers than your email address is. Once you've entered in all this information, you can tap sign in to create the account and continue. The touchpad should start to load in your email in the background, and then when you finally tap on the email app to open this up, it'll actually be there. To get to the email app, swipe up from the bottom bezel, and then you'll see in the dock by default, one of them will be the email app. Tap on it to open up the program. When you turn the touchpad into landscape mode, you'll see a three column view. The first one will be the mailboxes that you have, the second one will be the messages, and the third one will be a preview pane for your messages. If you don't want to deal with all three panels, you can actually change this. There's a little handle at the lower left hand corner of each of these panes. You can slide it over to the left in order to hide things. So for example, if you want to hide the mailboxes pane, you can grab the handle on the bottom of the messages pane, slide it over to the left, and that'll disappear. Again, you can grab the handle on this and hide the messages pane if you want. If you're in the messages pane and you see a message you don't actually want, you can actually swipe left or right over the message and a delete option will appear. When you hit reply or open up a new message, it'll open up in a new card. When you go back to the multitasking menu, you'll see that it actually appears in a stack with your mail program. If you want to deal with it separately, you can actually break it off by sliding it over to the side and turning it into its own stack. Well, that's a look at mail on the HP touchpad. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series. We'll show you other ways so you can interact with your touchpad. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.